So let's talk about stress. Answer this question. Do dogs pick up on their human stress? Of course they do. Uh, sensitive dogs, you tup, they look up. You sigh, they look up. You cry, they get upset. Dogs live in the home with us all of the time. And if we're under stress, then they're under stress. Now what is stress? Uh, according to the Health and Safety Executive in England, who are concerned about the stress in the workplace, which costs millions of lost man days, um, they de they've defined stress as the adverse reaction people have to excessive pressures or other types of demands placed on them. So it's interesting, it's the, it's the adverse reaction people have um, to one person uh, something could be stressful to another person, it's not stressful at all. So, uh, to me that sort of indicates that it's up to us to, um, to build our stress muscles, if you like, so that we can deal with more and get less stressed out by life. And that's a whole other subject. But let me just tell you um, what stress can do to the human body. Uh, it can lead to back pains, sore shoulders and tummy upsets. We all know that. When we're stressed out, we start aching. In extreme cases, it can lead to heart disease, anxiety and depression. And it also can exacerbate inflammatory conditions like eczema, uh, asthma and arthritis. And again, in extreme. It, can, it is associated with, with uh, cancer. So you don't really want to be stressed, and I guess if you knew how not to be, you wouldn't be. Um, but the fact is your dog is living with you while you're going through all that. Um, and there's a lot of people in the complementary healthcare field who feel that dogs pick up their owner's illnesses and carry them. So okay, imagine the situation, you're at home, you just had a nasty letter from the bank manager, um, we're in the middle of a recession and people are worrying about all sorts of things and you end up rowing with your husband or your wife and the dog's there with you. So what happens? The stress response starts to kick in and what happens is the lungs pump faster and the heart races blood pressure rises, which charges the muscles and sharpens the mind. Endorphins numb the body. Uh, the stomach flutters, the appetite, the libido, and the immune system shut down. And that's you in the middle of a stress response. Biochemicals start getting released into the body, things like adrenaline and cortisol, uh, which are there to help the fight or flight response. Um, problem is in this modern in modern world is we can't use those chemicals. Uh, we can't go around, we try not to go around screaming at people, and we try not to bash them on the head with axes. So we've got all these chemicals swarming around the body. We've got this physiological response. We've got nowhere to go with it. And that's happening to your dog as well in, in an extremely stressful situation. We also know from scientific research is that the effects of stress from violence and disaster can linger for years. You know, adrenaline will, levels will drop down fairly quickly, but cortisol will remain in the body for quite a few years, and that, that is actually associated with degenerative disease. So yes, dogs get affected by stress. The dog's environment also uh, can lead to, to stress. If your dog's locked at home all day while you're out at work, locked in the kitchen, locked in a barn, locked in a kennel, that's stressful, that's boring. And bore, boredom can um, also lead to stress responses. There are many nutrients that feed the hormones that help us deal with stress. So, for example, vitamin C 
is uh, an anti-stress nutrient. Vitamin B5 is anti-stress. Uh, both of those vitamins are highly unstable. Uh, they're easily lost in the cooking process and uh, they're lost with exposure to light and air and so on. So if you've got a huge bag of com so-called complete and balanced pet food uh, because it's cheap and you dig your way down to the bottom of the bag over a month or so, then if it's there in the first place, which is questionable, um, it's certainly not going to be there when you get to the bottom of the bag. So you need to give your dog a good diet to help them deal with stress and yourself as well. And also it can be stressful for a dog not to uh, have um, consistency, you know, basic training so that the dog knows what's expected of him and what, what isn't allowed. That leads to stability and reduces stress. So we can make a huge impact on our dogs, on their health, not just their emotional health, but also their physical health by looking after our stress levels. Um, we do of course run courses to, to help dog owners to reduce their own stress levels, part of the programme.